Um, I was running Talkback Productions, uh, which was a very small company at the time, which had been started by Mel Smith and Griff Reeves Jones, um, uh, initially to make radio commercials. And then we diversified a bit into kind of training films and corporate videos, th that sort of thing. Um, and then Mel and Griff's contract came up at the BBC, came to an end of a contract. The, B the, the independent quota had been started a couple of years earlier, and the BBC were effectively looking for people who could you know, make programmes independently. They'd never, they'd never had independent production before. So when Mel and Griff's contract came up and we re-signed with the BBC, we said, we can make the programme for you through Talkback. And the BBC said, well, that would be very nice. Yes, please do. So we had to, we never made a television programme, I'd never been involved in television, we had to take over the production of Smith & Jones um, and make it as an independent for the BBC. So I you know, drew up a budget and put myself down as the executive producer, it seemed the obvious thing to be, um, and, and that's how we started. Gosh, that's a big question. I don't think I can narrow it down to one because there's so many different shows in different areas. I've got very, very eclectic tastes. I love big, ballsy entertainment. I love, dry, I love everything. Um, so I don't think I could narrow it down to the one program that uh, I could say that in the, the development of Talkback, I think the day-to-day -day was an incredibly influential program. Um, and you know what flowed from it was Alan Partridge, Brass Eye, Armando Iannucci, a whole kind of generation of comedy and then things like Ali G and the 11 o'clock show, Ricky Gervais that were all came out of Talkback in a sense were in the wake of, of that program. So um, I, maybe if I had to choose one program I'd say that from my past. Just keep knocking at the door. Um, there's a, a, a curious thing about television, in a sense about all creative industries, which is that if you're just starting out, you think, how can I get through the door? How can I get my foot on the ladder? Um, and there's a lot of people who want to, and it feels very competitive. But when you're in, and when you're kind of at the other end of it, you look around and say, where's the new talent? Where, where, are, where are new writers? Where are new producers, directors coming through? Television's very hungry for ideas and content. There is more new television content today than there was 10 years ago, more than, than, more than there was 20 years ago, because there's more channels. And they're, they're, they're coming up with new things all the time. So even though it seems very competitive, once you're kind of through that door, there's such a lot going on. There's no sign of, of any you know, kind of reduction in the amount of new things that are being made. Um, if anything, I would say, the opposite, partly because audiences in, in this country, want, they, want, they want new things, they want exciting new things all the time. So there's opportunity, you just got to kind of keep knocking the door till you find it.